Parkinson's is a it's a neurodegenerative condition, which means parts of the brain, deep in the brain, become damaged over years. It's something that gets worse gradually, and the main part it affects is mobility. Although there are all these other symptoms that it can affect as well. Uh, and we can give medications that will help some of it. Some of it we can't. And it is helping those patients to and those carers to live with it. I've been nursing for quite a number of years and prior to this I was uh, I was community nursing. So I've got 30 plus years of community nursing experience. I've looked after quite a few Parkinson's patients while I've been in the in the community nursing role. And it's it's one of those I don't know what to say. Um, it's one of them conditions that's very complex and I, I felt I wanted to specialise in something and Parkinson, the role came along. I thought, yes, I'd like to do that. It's something I felt with all my experience I could help the patients. They have to live with it day in, day out and it's all the little things that might help. I can get referrals from GPs, I get referrals from the consultants. I work very closely with the consultants at all the different hospitals, Scarborough, York, some of the Leeds ones and as far as Newcastle. If we've got the odd parts of patient that's going to see a consultant up there. Um, rare referrals from GPs. I have access to host the York Hospital computer system so I can see what patients are up to in the hospital. I've got access to all the GP surgeries. I cover 14 GP surgeries and I've got access to all 14 GP surgeries and I can look on the systems to see who the Parkinson's patients are and then proactively ring round, make sure they're all right, see if there's anything I can do to help. And from there, I can refer them on to people like speech therapists, physios, occupational therapists, or mental health team. I work very closely with the mental health team because mental health can be a big problem with Parkinson's. The main three Parkinson's symptoms are your, your slowness of movement, your stiffness, your rigidity of your muscles and your pill roll and rest in tremor. And apart, as well as that, there's lots of non-motor symptoms that you can get, like the, the anxiety, the depression, the problems with balance, the problems with your bowels, your waterworks and the dementia side of things. So I see you every six months or so. The guidelines are you see either your consultant or your Parkinson's nurse every six months and it's at that appointment that we would pick up whether we need to get anybody else involved, whether we need to look at your medication, whether that needs tweaking a little bit. I can visit you at home, I can go into care homes, do a bit of education with the care home staff if they are not too sure about what they're doing with Parkinson's patients. But a lot of them are very good at looking after Parkinson's patients, I must say. Um, I'm in the process of getting clinics set back up in the GP surgeries. So you can come and see me there rather than going all the way to the hospital. And I can be very flexible. I tend to ring the patients up if I can't get what I want from them. But we'll do some video consultations but with Parkinson's, you need to see patients face to face, really. So if there's anybody that's really struggling, I will go and see them at home, obviously when the, the PPE that's necessary. I'll get phone calls from patients all the time. They're struggling, they don't know where to go to, they'll, they'll ring me. Quite a few patients have struggled trying to get a hold of GPs. They don't use all the technology, they, they can't get online, so they've got my telephone number, so they will ring me which they find is good. They, they, like, they like the accessibility of me. Parkinson's symptoms, because there's so many of them, patients will ring and say, is this a Parkinson's symptom or is it not? Do I need to see you? Do I need to see the GP? Where do I go with this? And it's a lot of advice. I have sent a letter out with all my details on, so I do get patients to ring me up on my telephone. Uh, they can email me or they can get in touch with the GP surgery and the GP surgery can test me from within the, the GP system. I've come across a few patients that have been lost in the system, that have they've had an appointment at the hospital, they've been diagnosed, they, and then they haven't had a follow-up for appointment for some reason, whether they've moved house or whatever, 
So I have picked them up in the surgery and we've got them back in the system and back being seen regularly.